everybody, and thank you for tuning in to another week of the Mr. Phil Show. We've got a special show for everyone tonight, something different, like we promised that we're going to be doing for this season, uh, a little bit different uh, style. We've got singing, like you're used to, and we also have some very lovely women here that are going to be speaking to us about some, some products and some, some things that they've developed, and... Um, we're going to just find out what that's all about. We're going to find out all together. And uh, I think it's going to be an empowering hour for us this time. And right now, before we get going too far, let me introduce to you my best friend and yours, Mr. Phil. Hey. Hi. Mm -hmm. How are you today? OK. Yeah, this is going to be a busy show for us. Yes, it is. Yes, okay. it is. Um, well, so now where did you meet our, our guests that are going to be coming on tonight? I met them at the um, film festival in Nyack uh -huh. just two weeks ago. Nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Great. So, and then we got booked for our show. Okay. Uh, you know, like I said, this is... This is one of our seasons we're going to try to do a little bit different. Right. How we're going to have some, some songs, some singers, as well as other things. Yeah. We actually had a comedian on two, two weeks ago. Right. Now. Was it two weeks? Yep. Uh, well, last week. I think it was. Yeah. Oh, we had it was last sure. week. I know. We, well, we've got a whole bunch of things lined up for you guys. Yeah. Oh, so many surprises. Um, you know, so <laughs> we don't want to give anything away. But okay. we did have a comedian on. You'll have to see if you can catch his show. That was Frank Moshman. Yes. And uh, when we put these shows on um, YouTube, you can actually go to the Mr. Phil show and look for the uh, episode with Frank Moshman, and you can see the comedy act that he does. Right. And that, that also we had a, a young lady also do um, God Bless America. Yes, we did. We yes. had and so that, much going that on. That was lovely. We, yeah, it was, it was a busy night. Okay. And tonight's a busy night, too. Yes, so, so uh, what I think we ought to do is get started. I think we will. And uh, tonight we're starting with your musical guests um, are going to be Phil and I. Yes. And an old friend of ours who we'll introduce when it's her turn to come on because she likes her special introduction. Okay. We want to do that for her, okay? Okay. All right. We're going to head over to the other other microphones. Yes. All right? Okay, and we're going to do our songs. we got a couple for you. Yeah, we got a couple for you.
stand by you. Stand by you. together that's going to be one of the ones that we're going to be recording yes, together that's right um, and that's a nice song and it's a we'll stay together song now this next one we kind of you know we kind of make it a little funny a little yeah a little comical right but it's it's like a breakup song so yes <laughs> <laughs> it only follows that we would do the breakup song after okay so let's go with uh the, the name of the song one I is? can't give him up for you. Right. We just gotta get. I said. 
I just can't give them up for you. Yes. This um, is something special. Yes, this is very special. Probably the hardest thing I ever had to do on TV in my career. Tonight, we lost a king of comedy recently, Jerry Lewis, who was a wonderful man, who gave his whole life to the Muscular Dystrophy Association and for 45 years, every Labor Day, ran That's right. a telethon, and ran it even before that. It's because of him that I'm doing this now, and that all of us are here right. now. Right. Thank you. Because when I was three years old, I was watching TV, I'll never forget this, and my mother said, this is Jerry Lewis. Watch him, you'll like him. And I, li I liked him all the way from then. And people always said that I was his look-alike. Yes. And he was my it. hero. <laughs> and I used to watch his telethons and say, I want to be doing one of these telethons. I mean, all these wishes and dreams did come true for me. I may not have been doing a nationwide telethon, but I was doing a telethon here, and right. I always close with the song every year okay. since I started doing it in 1994. Now, one thing about this song, I never allowed anybody to sing it with me up until almost two years ago when I did <coughs> the first telethon with Mary. Mm -hmm. And she was the first one to be allowed to sing this 
with me. Well, Jerry did it on his show. He always closed out the Muscular Dystrophy Telethon uh, on his own with this song. And I remember watching the telethon uh, with my dad as a child. We would sit up as long as we possibly could, and then we'd get up in the morning and turn it on and see yes, where he we was, did. you know? So, um, you know, it's, it's special to be able to sing this song with you. Right, I watched it when I was a little kid. I was touched by it when I was um, like 11 years old when I seen him sing this on this telethon, not be able to complete it back then. He'd get so emotional, he used to put the mic down on the stool and walk off until he was finally able to do it, so. But Phil is gonna make it through this one tonight. Yes. And we're doing this one, Jerry Lewis, for you up in heaven. I hope you hear us loud and clear. Tonight we have returning with us, who's been on our show many times, and every time she gets on here, she gets bigger and bigger. And I think she's almost getting taller than me, but that's not too hard. I'd like to introduce everyone to the lovely Lauren Luck. Oh. <laughs> she's, still, she's always still good, see? Want to see what I mean? She's tall as me now. Yeah, wow. I mean, my goodness, you know, Two years ago when I started this, she was down here. <laughs> well, when you started there, she was, you know. Yeah. But anyway, I'm going to turn over my mic to Lauren, and we're going to put you in the spotlight and let you do your singing. Of course. 
course, you're used to that, aren't you? Okay, and then Phil and I are gonna get ourselves comfortable over there so we can make ourselves comfortable with our next guests. And we really appreciate you coming out tonight and providing us with some more music. Thank you, yeah. I appreciate you coming out here. Thank you. All right, and the opportunities you give me. Ah, that's great. Well, we'll, we'll be talking to you soon. So you knock it out of the ballpark, kiddo. Knock it out of the ballpark. Right? No, you're not. Okay. First, I would like to sing I Feel Pretty from West Side Story. I feel pretty, oh so pretty. I feel pretty and witty and bright. And I pity any girl who's in me tonight. I feel charming, oh so charming. It's alarming how charming I feel. And so pretty that I hardly can believe I'm real. See the pretty girl in that mirror there. Who can that attractive girl be? Such a pretty face, such a pretty dress, such a pretty smile, such a pretty man. I feel stunning and entrancing. Feel like running and dancing for joy. Now I would like to sing Edelweiss. to sing Do Deer also from Sound of Music. Do a deer, a female deer, ray a drop of golden sun. Me, a name I call myself, for a longer way to run. So a needle pulling thread, love a note to follow so tea a drink with jam and bread and let's bring us back to do 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 re mi fa so la ti do 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 thank you Over here, Lauren. That was really something. That was so nice. And every time she comes on, she just gets that much better and better. So, uh, do you have any projects coming up? What are you going to be doing? Well, I am in a New York City chorus. I moved up this year, and I'm going to be going to Spain in, for a concert, and I'm oh. going to be singing there. That's terrific. When are you going to Spain? 
I'm actually not that sure. Mom? <laughs> oh, June 22nd. Thanks, Mom. June 22nd. All right, well, we're all going to be praying for her for June 22nd, and she's going to just do just fine. So, I, you know, I figured since you are our guest tonight also, uh, we would have you sit in with our two guests tonight. And we have a Ms. Lena Shockley. Come on over, Lena. Uh, she's executive director and producer. And we also have Cora Harrell, who's the CEO of Cora Beauty Services. And this is going to be our inspiring, empowering portion of our show tonight, isn't it? <laughs> Thank so you. Why don't you? Yes, um, it is. This is probably one of our biggest shows in our 22-year history right. tonight. Yes. Awesome. Okay. And this totally. is why we wanted Lauren to be here, because you're never too young to start in on this That's stuff. Right. That's right. That's right. It's never awesome. too young. <laughs> I just want to say you guys are awesome. You oh. guys are Thank awesome you. performers. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so why don't you um, start by telling everybody what it is exactly that you are the executive producer and um, director of. Okay, I'm the executive mm -hmm. producer of the Lena Shockley Youthology Hour. Uh, you can locate us at Nyack Village Theater, Rockland World Radio. Um, I also have a new movie out called The Gator Society. And my friend and special guest here, it, Cora Harrell, is starring in The Gator Society. And it's a movie about women, you know, of power and prestige. And they like to help people who are in trouble. You know, it's an action movie. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be having Julie Chin in the movie, Julie Wu, uh, Julie Bashir, uh, many others. Miriam mm -hmm. Rodriguez. Sounds nice. Okay. When, when will this be out? This is going to be out in 2018. Okay. Wow. All right, looking forward to that. That's Thank great. You. Thank you. Yeah. Oh yeah, the tra the trailer was uh, film was shown l uh, two weeks ago at my film festival, and we had Mr. Phil Phil perform at the at the show. He was a hit. Everyone loved him. Yes. People were filming him on cell phones. They were like, "Oh, he's great." I said, "Yeah, he's going to be coming back." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, there's nothing Mr. Phil likes more than being asked to come back and sing. So. Yeah. Yes, I love I'm that. I'm sure that's he's my said yes. <laughs> that's, that's my life. As, as these, as my two friends here could tell you, they know singing is my life. It's yes. beautiful. Yeah. Ours too, yeah, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> although we don't, we don't do a lot more than singing, well, you acting and, and all that stuff, but. <laughs> awesome. awesome. Yeah, so. Um, yeah, and I'm looking forward to having you guys on my TV and radio show, too. And what do you, what, what is your show based around? What do it's you. It's a variety TV show. It's been on for over 10 years. Okay. Um, I have over 350,000 live worldwide. You can sit on the theater stage. You can perform songs um, i'd love to have you guys performing okay i sure. love your I'm music sure. you <laughs> you're that. fabulous yes. <laughs> you too okay oh, <laughs> and um we've had all types politicians actors models um people oh wow look at that she does look it all oh <laughs> hey hey that's wonderful yeah we're going to be doing uh c carpet red hosting uh, hosting the red carpet yes. at okay. Fashion Week mm -hmm. uh, oh. in September. So we'll invite all you guys out and sure. you guys like to come out and, wow. uh, well, you know, we're fancy, fancy network. Right, and <laughs> sure, network. Oh. <laughs> that's, that's my n middle name, network. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> First I'm going to sing, and then network. Right. <laughs> 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 oh, okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, you know, sometimes sometimes we do things after that's school. Right. I yeah. think that's so fabulous. Th yeah. Tell everybody that again, because I want the young kids that watch this to hear that. School is comes first. Comes first, I guess. Yeah, but in my That's case, great. second. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> wow. Well, she wasn't supposed so to say that. Tell us what comes well. first. Tell us what yes. comes first. Okay, we I'm kidding. Know. I'm kidding. Okay. Okay. <laughs> School comes first. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, now, now mom feels better too. Well, what about in my yeah. case? In your case, you should probably go back to school. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but, but that's okay because everybody doesn't know him as well as I do. So that's all right. 
a, a tutor. There you go. That might actually do Perfect. it. We might be able to holo, uh, hire you for that job. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Cora, what is, what is it that you do that you're, you've got a, a book out? Right, I do. I have a, I have a book out. Um, it's actually called Shift. Um, it's the number one best-selling book, and it has won two awards. Uh, oh. It's a book collaboration with 20 women. Okay. And actually, this book talks about uh, emotional shifts, professional shifts, and mindset shifts. But it also talks about a lot of other things. Okay. And this particular book has inspired millions and millions of people all over the world. Uh, these different women come from all over the country. They have gone through a lot of hardship and different things in their lives. And the reason why we put this book together, Nikki Woods is actually the one who uh, brought all of us together. Uh -huh. And the reason why we did this is because we wanted to let women know in particular that no matter where they come from in their life, that they can actually be successful. So Absolutely. that was the purpose of this book. But in addition to this, I do a lot of other things. I'm also an entrepreneur. I'm the CEO of Cora Beauty Services, which is an online store, and we sell 100% uh, human Remy hair. Now, in addition huh. to that, the reason why I did that was because I had a mission to empower one million women all over the world. Because to me, it's very, very important that women are able to uh, sustain themselves in an independent manner yes. and not be uh, relying on their spouses or their family members. So that was the primary reason why I did that. But also, I, in collaboration, I also support cancer because I've had three people in my family who have died of cancer, one of myeloma cancer and other two of lung cancer. Okay. So I support that you know, heavily and wow. two years ago, I uh, partnered with the uh, uh, Vice President of the United mm -hmm. States. Uh, they have a, um, a Cancer Moon Summit every year. So I participated with that um, because I'm a part of the community and I want the community right. to you know, be alert and learn more things about uh, cancer awareness and I did this in hmm. Spring Valley. Wow. Um, I also uh, help young people. <laughs> 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 we have our young Lauren. Right? <laughs> and I want to say that thank you so much for Do Re Me. I really, really love that one. Does that bring you back? <laughs> yes, oh, it does. Brings yes, back. Bring it you does. Back to elementary it does. school. <laughs> Lauren, uh, <laughs> that brings me back because I never, t you don't know this. I was, I was doing this when I was a kid, when I was your age, but somehow got <laughs> sidetracked into sports and other things and oh, wow. forgot all about it and came back in middle life. I don't know if you know that Sit about down. me. Come on, go, go, go. Well, no, we, we don't have time for that. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> These lovely ladies need to but, get out their, 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 their information. Yes, Lauren, what did, what would? About when you were talking about cancer, I just want, like, I just want people to know and, like, please, like, be thankful for your lives and stuff because I have an acting teacher and her name is Miss Terry. And right now she has cancer and she can't really digest. That's her worst problem. And a lot of people need to bring food and stuff for her for dinner. And so um, I just want to put it out there. So please pray for her if you're Catholic or whatever religion you're in. Just please, just anything. Yeah, amen. And it happens amen. that amen. Uh, as Mary and I are involved right. with also. The, with the Cancer Society. Yes. yes. Oh, okay. Um, Mary, I'm a survivor myself. Yes. Oh, uh, wow. Kidney yes. cancer. Oh, yes. my gosh. I am. Okay. Uh, I Bless had a very, yeah. one of the most serious, That's, but I'm a se 17 years now that's clean. Right. Mm. I'm survived s over 17 years. Beautiful. And wow. uh, we do the Relay for Life. In fact, Mary and I performed in Goshen yeah, at the, the Relay, Relay for Life, life mm -hmm. oh. this year. And it was one of the most rewarding experiences of our life. Wow. Yeah, it was nice. You gotta it was let me know nice. next year. Yes, yes. because let me know. Um, it was so beautiful. She was my caretaker uh -huh. and walked me around. I mean, yep. it was so inspiring, so emotional because mm -hmm. I lost my mother, my father, my sister, and my grandmother to cancer. And I mm -hmm. have nobody left in my family. Yes. Uh, that's why I'm so grateful that 
Mary came into my life wow. and adopted me into her family beautiful. almost two That's years ago. Beautiful. Blessings. <laughs> I can understand it, yes. And, uh, what, no, he's my uncle. My donkel, actually. <laughs> Mrs. Lauren's going to like this. My, I call him my donkel because when I first met him, um, I actually saw my father's eyes looking through his eyes when he heard me sing. Nice. Um, and then we just formed this special bond beautiful. like an uh, you know an uncle and a niece it's very special beautiful so he's my dunkle dad uncle dunkle dunkle don't go there girl <laughs> beautiful beautiful yeah yes. so um yeah i've been uh, supporting him and his wife and everything that, mm. that they do mm. and i've also dealt a lot with cancers in my right. family oh, so yeah. you know if anything that you need mm -hmm. to help with mm -hmm. anything that you're doing I mean, you could always call on any of us. Thank you so much. You know, thank you. It'd be great. Thank you. I also like to mention I'm also a big advocate of uh, kidney disease as well. Okay. Because my mom, which is here, she's has a uh, kidney disease, uh -huh. and um, she's actually been going great for the last five years. Wow. Yes. Okay. So God has blessed her. Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. yes. But in addition, though, I want to say, um, are you familiar with the Soup McDonald's Gospel Choir? Are you familiar no, with that? No, I'm not. Well, the, it's a choir that sings every year for Mother's Day in Newark, New Jersey. And the real purpose of us singing is to, are you familiar with the Ronald McDonald House? Yes. Okay. Well, that's the purpose why we sing. We help to raise money for these children that are very ill and, and their parents that cannot afford to take care of them. Right. And we do big venues like Madison Square Garden, Newark Symphony Hall. Okay. We have prayer breakfasts all the time. We're going to have one, I think, in a couple of weeks. Like they just sent me a notice, so I don't all have right. the exact date. Well, you'll have to keep so, us updated so we can yeah, keep update yeah, Mr. Phil Page. Yeah, these are things and that uh, you know, we can collaborate and uh, help to inspire people, because that's what it's all about, mm -hmm. you right. know, in, enlightening people and encouraging them and educating them and you know, helping them to get through different things. Because you never know where somebody's coming from, you know, right. and what's going on in their lives. So mm -hmm. it's very important to me that you're careful with people and that you should make sure that when you're saying something to them, it's uplifting and very empowering. Yes. 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 You know? uh, like, besides uh, my singing mm -hmm. career and life in here and all around, I'm also sing with my synagogue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was in the choir uh, for Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. That's our New Year's, which is coming up soon, and our right. Day of Atonement. Mm -hmm. Plus, uh, every Sabbath mm -hmm. on Saturday and every holiday, I help run uh, an important part of the service. And with the cantor who does the singing, I sing with him, and like he'll do a line, I'll do a line. So mm -hmm. I sing for God mm -hmm. also. Beautiful. I love that. I and that, that is so rewarding. It is. Yes, uh, it is. Mm -hmm. yeah, he gets choked up when he starts <laughs> to sing. Well, yeah, well, you know what? I want to say something. And I'm glad that you got choked up about that. And I'm so glad that you mentioned it because we invited you to come to the music revival audition. And where were you? Oh. We didn't <laughs> see you. <laughs> oh, my. Yes. I, I we're going to have one there. here in Rockland County on September 30th. We're going to have the actual show. Mm -hmm. okay. But everyone is invited to come out for audition because it is a community thing. Right. And we would love to have you come out. An audition. You guys come out and audition. Right. Uh, you can audition at the St. Giles uh, Amy Zion Church. And the number that you can call is 347-34-5806. Uh, uh, okay. That's Just the number where you can Just repeat it one call. more time. Again, that number for auditions for the music revival is 347-340-5806. Oh, six. We are looking for sopranos, altos, tenors, okay. and we're looking for musicians to come out. Wow. And we just okay. want to give God the praise. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Wow. Yes. Yes. He's so good, right? That's right. <laughs> hey, you know, I sung for over 30 years of my church choir. I started really? as an eight year old. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yes. Wonderful. Yes. At eight oh years goodness. old, and in a church Except choir. Except it was more like six. 
You, you were six? Six years Pretty old. Pretty much, yeah. Ah. yeah. My choir, we, we started when we were in second grade. I was about eight years old. And yeah. By 10 years old, I was doing solos mm -hmm. and, and all that kind of stuff. And, Beautiful. you know, there's nothing better than going in there and and feeling the hope and and uh, uplifting and and all of that just the great feeling that you get when you um, are singing right and you can feel everybody along with you mm -hmm. Beautiful. you know you can feel everybody praise along with you yeah you know yeah. Um, I still do even when I'm doing karaoke if mm -hmm. I'm singing a song and I feel praise I still have a habit of raising yeah. my hand Beautiful. <laughs> Mary and I yes. have two duets that we do together mm -hmm. and that is Alabama's Angel Among Us, mm -hmm. beautiful, right. and also Josh Groban, You Raise Me Up. Mm. Yes. Beautiful. Nice. beautiful. Yeah, nice. okay. Um, yeah, and they're, well, they're very special to us because mm. they're about exactly what you're saying. Right, right. You know, right. somebody else that somebody. help you, to help you up. That's right. It's about they raising each beautiful. other up. That's it's like right. It's elevator. Someone's the elevator. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's you're right. right. And you're especially... Uh, you raise me up. That's like our theme song together, mm -hmm. and we do each line for a purpose mm -hmm. because um, Mary has been with me in some very scary, trying times, especially recently. Oh, mm -hmm. wow. I went through some very serious uh, cardiac issues. Mm -hmm. Wow, where uh, I wasn't. Sure. Yes. Mm -hmm. What's going to right, happen? Right. So, um, you have a lot of books and stuff spread out in front mm -hmm. of us. Now, this is your this book is this shift. is my book shift. Okay. And um, they this book they can actually get this on Amazon.com. If you just Google um, Cora Harrell's books on Amazon, I actually have two books, um, oh. two time published offer. Uh, shift will come up, uh, and also I have, uh, what's that other book that I have? <laughs> <laughs> you got a lot going on, girl. <laughs> I, think, I forgot the name <laughs> of the book. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I right? do that sometimes. Or it's like you practice the song like a million, ma million, gajillion, bazillion, I don't know yeah, what word it is, infinity times. And then like when it's time to sing it for someone or just like one person, and like this is a big thing, and then it's like, oh wait, what's the song again? I forgot, I forgot the words. <laughs> it happened to me once. No, no, what just happy it wasn't that big. The, the other book has to do with um, it's, it's savvy internet marketing. Oh. Because you know, when you, when you begin to go into business for yourself, you need to learn how to market yourself. Right. You, you, you know, you, you can't depend on other people, and advertising is good, but sometimes advertising doesn't work, and you don't find out until you spend thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. Right. So uh, the reason why I wrote that book is because I wanted to share, um, you know, what it was like for me to actually build a website and some of the other things that you need to do to actually attract your target market mm -hmm. because just having a website, um, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're gonna reach your target market and That's it's true. and it doesn't mean that, to, to right, there's a lot that. of things that you need to put on that website in order to reach your online audience. So mm -hmm. in that book it tells you a little bit of how I started, but I plan to write more books about that um, because I think it's in, important if you want to do an online business. Right. Because if you don't have the right information, you're not going to make it online. It's just not going to mm -hmm. happen. <laughs> By the way, can you get these books on like ebook and Barnes and Noble? Mm, no, not not. You can't get this book at Barnes and Nobles. Um, you can only get those two books on Amazon at this time. But um, I have been talking to somebody in the community, uh, uh, Hillcrest, and we may be having these books uh, sold uh, in Hillcrest, New York. Well, that's neat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. Swell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like that word. Swell. 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 <laughs> Okay, now, Lena, well, you have a whole bunch of stuff yes. spread out yes. in front of us. <laughs> I mean, there, I, I've seen, I'm seeing six different book or pamphlet type things here. <laughs> yes, I'm sure. Um, I mean, well, we, this we is, have um, like, you know. This is uh, something, uh, this right here, this is a documentary mm -hmm. uh, about a woman who was struggling many years ago, 
and she decided to become a book author. Uh, she had a couple husbands that had died on her, um, all types of different serious things. Her name is Selena Polk, mm -hmm. and she owns a publishing company and a okay. magazine, and she publishes lots of books. So I did a documentary on her. Uh, this is uh, on the Lena Shockley Youthology Hour, mm -hmm. and okay. you guys met her last week, uh, two weeks ago at the uh, film festival, yes. and we played her yeah. movie. She had a very successful movie that just came out, yes. and she had us go out to um, the Marriott Hotel out in uh, Maryland, mm. and then she um, had us, uh, you know, film everything. So we turned it into a documentary. It was around the block. The wow. the, the the standing crowd was yeah, there to buy tickets. Alone. And wow, um, very nice. she sold out over 700 tickets. And she was like, well, how am I going to sell all these tickets? I said, well, just have faith in God. They're going to come. That's right. And mm -hmm. people from all over the town and cities came. And people came out from Hollywood. And now they want to do part two of her movie. And uh, I debuted her movie also in New York at our film festival okay. at Niag Village, where mm -hmm. you performed film. <laughs> right. And um, it was fabulous. And I, pr I uh, had a lot of different people with movies. Uh, we debuted their movies there. Right. And right. I gave out awards to people, to directors and mm -hmm. actors and sure. singers and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, it was and, beautiful. Uh, you know, it was yeah. a great time. Yeah. It was a great time. So this is a documentary. Um, I do lots of documentaries on people and uh, people can always contact me directly on facebook okay. lena shockley on facebook and uh they'll be able to uh subscribe and follow mm -hmm. if they'd like me to come out to a show you know and interview people i do that uh, uh -huh. cora and i are going to be interviewing people on the red carpet yeah. for fashion week at September. many different shows that's, September that sounds 11th like it's going to be one of the shows that we're going to be oh. doing down in manhattan for international two international designers yep wow. a lot a lot of their stuff that they're making now a lot of the celebrities are wearing it well, I so should see if they do yeah. anything in petite. So oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah they're doing welcome that. Welcome to Yeah. <laughs> doing something new in the fashion industry now. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 They're making a difference. Yes, yeah. yeah. that's it. You know, I mean, they have to realize that there are women of all shapes and sizes. Absolutely. Yeah. And actually, we have women of all shapes and sizes right here, that's right, right now. That's right. Right. So, right. I mean, you know, couldn't be more evident than it is right now. That's right. <laughs> and we're going to also. Um, be interviewing people at the Vanyo uh, red carpet and fashion show. It's a three-day uh, event, mm -hmm. and oh. that's also on my Facebook. Yeah. Vanny uh, Tucson is a very um, terrific fashion designer. She's, she's an award-winning fashion designer, okay. and she has uh, Fati Fatina Quasem, who is a uh, Miss World beauty pageant uh, contestant who had won and uh, there's going to be a lot of different people there, mm. Mm, lots of nice. different uh, people, modeling, actors, um, mm. all kind of entertainers. I'm inviting you guys out to come out and oh, network yes. with yeah, everybody and get yeah. a live interview Great. from us on, on, on the Thank red carpet. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Wow. <laughs> yeah, really that sounds like a really big <laughs> deal, yes. And then I'll uh, show you this book here. Yes. This is an enlightenment book. Um, I'm a promotional manager for Just Dr. Anna Jordan. Anna Jordan, and uh, you know she had a documentary, a science documentary at the film festival. Oh, uh -huh. and uh, I had given her an award yes, as I well. Yes, I remember her. Yes, and uh, she's coming back out to New York as well, so you can definitely pick up her book on Amazon as well, Dr. Anna Jordan, or okay. you can contact her on Facebook, Dr. Anna Jordan, Anna Jordan, and she's a Harvard graduate and a Columbia University graduate. And she has some phenomenal information about how to heal your body and, you know, mm. metaphysical, you know, sciences and things like that. Right. Okay. Okay. And then um, there's another book here by, again, Selena Polk from Polk Publishing. Huh? And she does enlightenment books and spiritual books and, you know, books about, you know, things that are happening in their city. Mm -hmm. And she helps encourage new authors, you know, to grow. And she publishes people. Wow. publishes a magazine uh -huh. and then you know of course i have my own magazine you know uh -huh. um which is um you know mountain dog entertainment magazine it's an entertainment magazine i'm going to be featuring some of the pictures from the award show oh. uh with Doc, mr phil oh, and some right. stuff from this show actually in okay. the magazine okay and you know i have um people 
like uh, Shaz, who's a famous model. She's an international mm -hmm. model. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, all types of different people in the magazine, all types of different stuff. I feature all kinds of actors, entertainers. That's um, great. All wow. kinds of people wow. from around the world who come on the stage and they come to New York and stuff like that. So I'll definitely be featuring you guys in the magazine as well, oh, okay? All right. All that right. Would, that, <laughs> would, that would be a big boost for us. Yeah, that, that's, that's what right. we try to do in the community. Okay. Is with our show is to give people that boost yes. up, that step up from, okay. you know, obscurity or, or okay. just open mics. Yeah, that's beautiful. To to having you know uh, a chance to be on TV, yes, which most people don't ever get that. Chance. Yes, absolutely, and so we're very we honored that. that you invited us here. This is a blessing, so thank you so much. Oh, that, that's great. Have you ever done TV? Before? Yes, I have. Yes, good. No, that's good. I'm, I'm glad because you know a lot of people come on. And, oh, I've, I've never done it. And they're they're so. Um, nervous about it and everything. Yes, um, yes. Now, Lauren? Lauren? Um, by the way, about this book, you said it's about like science? Yeah, this is enlightenment, metaphysical science. Um, Dr. Ah. Anna Jordan had died and then she came mm. back and she saw the other side and she ah. has some very phenomenal information in there. Oh, about you saw like the other side of life, like death yes, side? Yes, yes. Oh, that's neat. Yes, and she came back and uh, She's a living testimony. You Sounds know. like something that would be very interesting to read. Yes. Yeah. Sounds like something really interesting that could have happened in real life. Absolutely, absolutely, yes. absolutely. She, she was blessed to be sent back and, and yes. tell people about it. I sort of want to read that now because I want to be a scientist when I grow up. Oh, wow, that's serious. That's serious. And okay. we, fe we featured Dr. Anna's... Um, uh, documentary, the science documentary at the film festival. Wait, she's and a real person. Oh yes, she's a real oh, person. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> of course. So she saw, she saw, she the, other she saw the other side, and she That's came a real back, person. And now she's sharing with you. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that something? <laughs> well, that's just a picture of her, you know. <laughs> well, you can you can have a talk with your mom about that later. Yeah. Mom. Yeah. Oh. Dad, dad's a, dad's a doctor. I think he can explain some <laughs> things. Wait, so she pretty much died and then like came back. Yeah. Boom. Not back. not died for well, days. Yeah. Right. right. She yeah, just like for, and then a, a brief days, was it? <laughs> brief time. <laughs> her brief time. And then she came back. Came back. Oh, sounds like what my dad did at the club one day. This guy he had a heart attack and oh. he died and then oh. my dad brought him back to life with the heart. It happened. Thing. It happened. Absolutely. Yes, it does. Absolutely. Yes, it does. Maybe you saw the other side. That would be I cool. know. Yeah. Oh, you. Oh, you've experienced that, huh? Right. Yes. <laughs> wow. Yes. That's serious. Yeah. yeah. Very powerful. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Okay. Now, um, is there? Uh, oh, I know all of your your information for the Facebook stuff. Yes. All that's going to be at the end of the show, so okay. that people can absolutely Curves. take a note and thank you. You know, they can put it on uh, on. Whatever it is they need to put it on. Okay. And stick it on the refrigerator or wherever. Okay. So they can remember. Okay. Order the book and get get involved in the, the websites and, Absolutely. and that kind of thing. And um and they can definitely come out to our shows. You know, we have lots of shows. And um, where do you do your show again? At Rockland World Radio, 94 Main Street, Nyack, New York. Okay. Okay. So we do shows all over the place. Um, I did a tour to Florida recently, and we were filming the movie out there and right. in Atlanta and okay. all kind of and places. And now, is this a weekly show that you do? Uh, it used to be a weekly show, and then now we just book people according to the time slot that they have to fly in. Okay. Okay. Because it's okay. actually so very demanding. And it'd be a pre-recorded, but then it's, it's a live show, uh, and uh, then we um, right. film it at the same time, and right. we put it up on YouTube. So if anybody missed the live show, the live ah, broadcast, they can okay. watch on their cell phone at www.rocklandworldradio.com. Rockland and they can, World Radio. Yes, and they can come into 94 Main Street, um, Nyack Village. And they can cut. We have 49 theater seats. They can sit down and watch the show live. And what time do you usually? Um, it depends start? on the, the date that the person wants to and the time the person wants to come in. A lot of times, recently we've been doing shows on Saturdays. People okay. like to come in on Saturdays. But that's all listed on your on my on Facebook. Your Facebook page, Absolutely. so that we don't have to try to have yes. you try to remember all those we, things. Anytime right. I have somebody on my show, I always put up a flyer. Like for example, I advertised and broadcast that we were coming on this show today, so we have okay, a beautiful flyer. Right up with you guys on it and everything and uh you know i have a f fantastic product i want people to check out
out. It's a monitor. It's called the Hilo product. Right. And it yes, I did want to make sure that yeah. I, I know we were talking <laughs> about it earlier. Yeah. And we've got you know, like two minutes or so. And, oh, I'm so and, sorry. And that's okay. <laughs> so we just wanna, <laughs> well, thank, actually, we want to thank you for coming on. Thank and you. Yeah, okay. Uh, it's I a just, welcome. Our pleasure. I thank you. Uh, <laughs> and uh, thank you for all the information for everything you've done for us. And thank you. You know, I just want to say it was thank you for that opportunity you gave me. It was an opportunity of a lifetime. I enjoyed Blessings. myself so much. We enjoyed your performance. Yes. You're awesome. Yes, you rock. <laughs> <laughs> and he called me up and I got to talk on the phone. Yeah. And talk to people on the phone. It was great. So thank you. We, we really enjoyed it. Now, the, um, the, the Helio thing is that there is um, at the end of the show, um, that's on there also. Yes, thank you. Okay, so now what is the basic? It's really a monitor. Basic idea. It's a monitor that you put on like a watch, and it can check your uh, medical symptoms like diabetes, high blood pressure. You know, if you're about to maybe get the flu, uh, heart attack. It's a it's a high tech Apple product. Okay. Um, when they contact me on Facebook, you know, I will send them the two-minute video, and they can check it out. It's phenomenal okay. stuff there, and it can give you your readings. If you need to go to a doctor appointment, you can um, give them all the readings that you've been, you know, taking sure that on your monitor helpful. for the last three months, you know, and boom, you're able to get the proper information and diagnosis from your doctor and stuff like that so it's really a great yeah. product and so yeah i encourage everybody to you know look that up and uh look look up uh it's on it's helio yeah it's lena it's www.lenashockley helo helo yeah h-e-l-o -E all right mm -hmm. okay thank you okay, so okay <laughs> thank you i just want to thank you all for watching Yes. And this is a very exciting show, and I want to thank you, Lauren, for coming on. You did a great job. Fantastic job. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Phil. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yes. Sir. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. We'll see you next week. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs>